Buffalo State and Weedy are partnering to help bring authentic international cuisine to the campus, all while helping a small business put down roots in the community. News 4's Hope Winter shows us the small business they chose this semester. My thing is, it doesn't matter where I am, what I have, I can, I will cook your food, kitchen or no kitchen. So we literally started from the ground up. Terry Chittick was born on the island of Tobago, and when she moved to Buffalo from New York City years ago, she decided to turn her passion into business. Now, years later, she shares her culture with our community with every delicious bite. Something about cooking or creating something delicious to put a smile on people's face from raw ingredients made me very, very happy, very pleased. Her business, KT Caribbean Cuisine, is involved with a partnership between Buffalo State University and the Westminster Economic Development Initiative, where they choose a small business to serve in the Campbell Student Union Dining Hall each semester. I think cultural diversity is really important uh, for VD, and that's why we want to be culturally inclusive, and we want everyone to experience that and not travel to Toronto or other places. We want them to have that ex culinary experience right here. Now students, staff and the community can all try her cuisine and the school tells us the response has been really positive. A lot of our students come from uh, from New York City area and um, and have uh, ties to, to Caribbean food, uh, you know, being on every corner down in, in, uh, in New York. So this is kind of like a taste of home. A lot of the, the kids call me Auntie, Auntie Terry, because again, I remind them of their aunt back home or their mom back, back home, um, and it really gives them that comfort. If you would like to try KT Caribbean Cuisine, she also has a food truck and plans on opening up her own location on Michigan and Riley later this year. She tells us wherever she is within the community, she'll be serving with a smile. In Buffalo, Hope Winter, News 4.